In this video, I'll show you how to show variants as separate products on Shopify, or in other words, to split variants like colors or sizes into individual product listing. Just like my collection page over here, as you can see, there are three product variants listing for my curtains, my beige, pink, white, also for the shoes and vases. There are variants, but they are shown as individual products. Let's click on one. Yes, as you can see, this is just one product. Shopify admin. In the app section over here, I'm gonna search the keyword Nest Scale Color Swatch Brand Images. I'll also put the link in the description below if anyone wants to DIY. Anyway, now I'm gonna click install click here this app works on all free and premium themes and it works on all theme versions this is how my default collection page looks the blazer curtain dress shoes everything is shown as one product as you can see the bases they have six products as variants and now I want to show this as individual listing so to do that Let's go back to our app, the Nescale Cost Watch Right Images app. And in the sidebar in the left over here, you can see that there are a lot, but we focus on the variety split. Here, a pop up will appear. Okay, very good. It shows individual listing. Turn it on. Uh, okay, what is the notification? These two show options swatches and preview feature. They don't matter much in this video just skip and now we're in the main page there's how to display the brines where to display them and other options as well as the title first I'm gonna focus on how to display it. so first is show our brines see how this looks Wow just like that as I turn it on I already get you know all the separate a split brine. Do you see the wood base? What about the show based on primary options? It is based on what brine you want to be shown. Here I'm gonna test with the color and the base shape. And let's see how that works on the collection page. Yes, as you can see, curtains has the color brine. This is the only brine that is split. However, you know, for the gloves, they don't work. And here, the dress shoes is also the color. Yep, you can see the size of the dual vase, they still remain as one product only. Third option, high based on primary options. This is the reverse. Show all brands as separate products except for the brand color and base shape. Okay, let's go back to our collection and see how this works. Exactly. Now the other brands like color, base color, base sizes, they don't work anymore. And here in this product, can you spot something very interesting about it? We have an estimated delivery date widget and this is a very useful feature however this won't be covered in this video so if you want to check this out the video on the right hand corner Now, we'll go to the where to display this variant. By default, it shows on all the pages, but we can show it on collection pages only, which is what we have done from the beginning of this video. Now, let's try and show it on the other pages. For example, let's go on the home page. Yep. You can tailor it to the home page or the collection page, whatever that 
is most suitable for your business to increase the conversion rate. Let's check out the show out of stock rinds feature. So this is especially useful when you still want to show the variety of your store and notify that customers you can buy this item just wait for the stock to refill. So I'm going to test with my student vase which at the time being doesn't have any stock. So I'll change it to 5. I haven't turned on the show out of stock yet. Yes, on the left hand side, you can see that only the white face is shown. Now I'm going to turn it on and see what happens. The gray face is also shown, although it is sold out. This is especially useful to show the variety of your store or if you don't want to confuse some customers, you can turn this off. The last feature is to show products even without rhymes. Among my product, there are some that don't have any rhyme. For example, the dress shoes over here. Hmm? Only the blazers, the gloves, the jackets are shown, but not the dress shoes. So, I will turn this on. And voila! The dress shoes is here. Make sure that your customers don't miss any items on your store. Now we want to make changes to the brand title. Try it like the product title only. Oh, this doesn't really look good. It only shows the product and they don't know which color, which sizes they are. So we might want to change this into something apostrophe. Yep, so the customers can know which fries you're, they're looking at. Let's try another option. This one looks fine. I still prefer the second option. It gives more clarity. And for those of you that really want to customize your own way, you can always do that too. Add a title, option, do whatever you want. You know, customize the brand title the way you want. I'm perfectly fine with the default one, so it's fine for me. Alright. And as you can see here, there are a lot of pattern fusion, but I don't get them as a variety. I show them in another way, using another feature of our app, which is the product group feature. This is also very interesting and helpful as an alternative to color swatches. If you want to check out how to implement this feature on your store, well, we already have a video on that. Just check it out on the top right hand. From the start of the video so far, what we've been doing is to apply the global rule across our product. Now, I want to tailor just one collection to be different from the others. Now, the collection rule comes in handy. You will add a separate collection. In this case, I will choose my seasonal breaks. As a default, it shows all the brands into separate products. So now, in the how to display brands, 
I'll choose the exception box which shows as the grind just as the default section as the on the product page. Refresh the page and we got the result of the products are now shown one. And lastly, if you want to take it even further, you apply a separate rule for one product. Then you choose the column product rule. The same step applies here. You choose your product. And I want to use my dual face as the example in this video. Currently, it shows all the sizes as two product listing. Now choose the exception and refresh the page. We got the result. It turns back to the default look. And that's it. Make sure to download Nessus Car Swatch Variant Images on Shopify and start showing your variants as separate products right now. If you found this video helpful and want to see more content like this, don't forget to press that like button, subscribe, and check out my other tutorials on Shopify customizations. Thanks for watching and happy selling.